Hi everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Video Game Dad, the show that's ready to blast off again. I'm the Video Game Dad, and with me as always is the Video Game Kid. When I think of cute animals, the first thing that comes to my mind are dogs or rabbits. What about kittens? Well, of course, kittens. I certainly don't think of possums. The fourth generation consoles, i.e. the 16-bit, had more than their fair share of cute animals, trying to be the game that makes it big and puts their company on the map. Unfortunately, most of these turned into generic platformers that are easily forgotten among superior peers. Will today's game just be another face in the crowd? Find out as we play... Rocket Knight Adventures! That's right, we are playing Rocket Knight Adventures for the Sega Genesis. Are you ready to get started? Yes! Alright then. Here we go again. I got a little bad kitty book. That's true, we went to the bookstore today, we got some new books, and now we're sitting down to record an episode. We're playing the... Whoops, that's gonna be too loud. Konami. That says Konami, yep. We're playing Rocket Knight Adventures with a possum, and he flies, and he has a sword, and rockets, cause he's cool like that. And at first I thought he was a dog, but he's not. Yep, that's true. This is actually, oh, this is just a demo. Hang on, let's hit start. Uh, I'm having Allison start again, because that was a lot of fun. I think you seem to enjoy starting first, so let's do that. Stop. Yeah, um, this is uh, the second time recording this, unfortunately, because I had a bit of a glitch with our microphone. I mean, these things happen. It is what it is. I was pretty, I was pretty steamed about it when it happened. What is that pig thing? I don't know. It's a floating pig wizard or something. Or a floating pig head. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the unfortunate thing about this being the second time is that I don't get the uh, raw, genuine reaction from Allison that I do so enjoy. But on the plus side, she actually has had a little bit of experience with the game. So she might I actually do pretty decently. Oh. Yeah, get those pigs. Wreck them. Show them who's boss. Show them you don't take no guff. All right, now this is where you got to use your rockets, I think. So you got to hold down the button. I think you got to hold down the attack button. Oh, no. You figured it out. Never mind. See, look at this. You're learning. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Rocket Knight. Um, this is not a game from my childhood. We do, I do like to do that every so often. Just uh, in general, I like to feature games that I actually have some sort of asso prior association with, just so that I've got stories to tell. But I also like to just play boing, games that I. Boing. Boing. I also like to just play games that I missed out in my past because you know, this way it's a good it's a good experience for both of us. It's something that we can both learn about together. Uh, I like to hop. Yeah, you like hopping, huh? I think that's. Whoa, watch out! Whoa, good job! Boom! I killed him. Yeah, you messed those guys up. Uh oh. No. What? You want me to take over? Yeah, I messed up enough. Oh, that's all right, honey. Considering that this is only the second time you've even played this game, like the fact that you got as far as you did, I'm actually I'm pretty impressed with how well she did. So yeah, um, so like I said, this is this is a um, sort of blind. I mean, in as much as you know, I hadn't played this game until like three days ago. Oh, what's the problem, honey? My tummy hurts. Your tummy hurts. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. We should have some dinner after we're done recording. I don't think either of us has even really had dinner. I mean, you had some cottage cheese and... What else did you have? You had a biscuit. So, I mean, you've had more to eat than I have, but I haven't eaten for like six hours. Because that's just kind of what happens. I started a new job, so my routine is a little awry. Aww. Yeah, this is a... It's a pretty much blind... I mean, just... Like, I haven't... The first time I even... I knew about this game just because I've seen a couple of uh, LPs of it, and I'm trying to remember who I saw play this. Lots Might have been cats. Game Crumbs. I honestly can't remember. Ah, oh, dang gum. Yeah, and Allison's found a book with cats, so she may be out for the evening. We'll just have to see, I guess. So, what do you think about um, what do you think about the character Rocket Knight? What do you think about him? He's cool. He's cool. Yeah. What, what kind of adventures do you think he's going to get into? Nothing. Nothing? Or maybe he'll save princesses. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure what the plot is. I mean, there's the 
weird uh, pig in space guy that I guess maybe he stole the castle. There's that castle that's in the background of that first screen and I think maybe that's supposed to be like Rocket Knight's Kingdom or something along those lines. That's the thing, that's the thing that I've learned about this game uh, in the little time that we had with it the other day. It's pretty challenging, it's a pretty tough game. Like, we barely got into the second level when we played and it was just because there's like just a cadre of mini bosses. Oh yeah, fruit and a one man! Or maybe it's a one possum. How many times can I make that joke and still think it's funny? I'm a dad, so I'm going to guess a hundred. All right, now here's our here's our first major challenge. This guy's this guy's kind of a pushover as long as you remember to use the rocket ability and actually hit him. It's the second phase that's a little tough, just because there's a lot more active dodging involved. But oh man. But then after this, it just dumps you right back into another boss, and it's like, dang man, give me a break. This game definitely doesn't doesn't hold your hand. It doesn't screw around. See, this is what you gotta watch out with. This dude. He just bounces around the screen, and then you're right back at this checkpoint. Ugh. Get wrecked. Boy, you're just super into this game, huh? I'm into the book battle. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. That's fine. I understand. I understand that you may not have a whole lot of interest in this since we're- The cat said taco please. <laughs> Did you say taco please? Uh huh. That's pretty silly. This part's pretty tough just because your life carries over from that uh, tank guy and so you want to try and get in there with full life. But, I mean it could be a lot worse I guess. But any second now, there's going to be a dragon snake showing up and he means business. Here it is. Here it is. Let's get him. Ah, toast. All right. You're toast. I am toast. But now that I know, I can just farm one ups. This guy's gonna be a pushover. Get all the one ups. There's only the one, but I can just keep coming back because after I die, it sends me right back to that checkpoint, and there's a one up there. That may have been intentional, because the developers realized just that. Uh, the this, rest just regular apples? Yeah, they're just apples. They, they're to, So you can fill up your life, so you're theoretically going into this boss with full life, but unfortunately there's that fleet of pigs that happens right before the tank, so it's... Ah. Oh no, don't flamethrower me, guy. Although it does seem like I'm, I'm invulnerable. I'm not easy with that pig guy. You're not easy with that pig guy? Do you mean mm -hmm. that you would have a hard time fighting him? That's probably true. I don't know. You were doing pretty well. I was actually pretty impressed with how well you were doing earlier. Alright. Come get some. The nice thing is that when you're come doing get the... Some uh, sword. Yeah, come get some sword. Boomerang sword. Yeah, boomerang sword. Yeah, that's right. We called those boomerang swords, huh? Because he, he's got a sword, but he's like throwing boomerangs. So they're kind of boomerang swords. Yeah. I don't know. See, that's, like, there's pros and cons of having to do this a second time. There's not as much of the, uh, random silliness, because it's like, oh, yeah, well, we've seen this before. But, theoretically, we might actually get farther, because, especially when it's, uh, we're doing games we've never played before. Because we kind of know what to expect, so it's like, well, no real surprises there. Alright, come on, Snake Dragon. No, you squeaked it. Did I? Mm -hmm. Oh, dang! I just flew right into his butt. Ooh. Ooh. I said ew. Got him. How do you spell ew? How do you spell ew? Like, like you think something's gross? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just e w. But if you want to stretch it out, like ew, it's you just put on some more w's or more e's. Just however you feel. However you're feeling. If you're more of an ew guy or an ew guy or ew. girl. Or that kind. Or that kind. Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah, get some. Oh yeah. Jetpack? <laughs> what? Jetpack animal. I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, bananas. Bananas. And next round. Oh man, I forgot about the butt fire pigs. Ouch. Like seriously, it seems like those dudes should be dead and just like they're just running past you, but no, they, they do damage. Ugh. 
And this is an area where you may not want to use the rocket. Then they turn... When you kill them, they turn into underpants pigs. <laughs> they do turn into underpants pigs. Oh, look. Look at that. It's teaching us. Oh, I think this is the firewall part. Oh, no. Firewall. I can't get to my internet websites. Ouch. Well, I forgot about that. So that hurt. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think we actually got far right enough. Before the firewall thing happened. Well, unfortunately, that's just a... Um, um, it's just a uh, scripted event, so no, it doesn't matter. As soon as we get up to that point, it doesn't matter I how long we six. take. You did make a six. She's got um, some balloon animal balloons, and we've been having a lot of fun with those. We made a sword, and pretty much a sword, because all the kids wanted was to just have the balloons blown up. They didn't particularly care about what they looked like. Especially your sister. She was the one who was just like, no, I just want a balloon. And I was like, well, all right, fine. Oh, man. That was crummy. Yeah. Continue. Continue. Why don't you tell, why don't you tell the audience about your telescope? It's a type cool scope. There you go. If it's a tape telescope, it's a taposcope. It's a taposcope? Yeah, that's probably true. That's why I made a taposcope. Why don't you tell them what it looks like? It looks like polka dots. Yeah, it's because it's got some polka dot tape on it. Yeah. Oh man, this part is not easy. Uh, oh sweet. I do hope that's a checkpoint. <laughs> what is this voice you're doing? A crazy voice. A crazy voice? Well, I got yeah. lots of gems. Yeah. Oops, I missed one. Oh well. That might be a checkpoint, which would be super keen. Yeah, alright. Yay, checkpoints. So have you seen have you ever seen a possum, Allison? No. So you don't know what you, you don't even know what a real possum looks like. Did you know that you used to have a stuffed possum no. that you got from your uncle? No. Oh look, a big gift. Surely there's nothing bad in there. It's a pig! It is a pig. Yeah, she used to have a stuffed possum that my brother gave to her. Um, that... I don't think he meant it to be, like, a joke gift, but it kind of ended up being a joke. Because, like, he thought... I think he thought that she wasn't going to love it as much as she did, but, like, because she was two or three at the time, she adored it. And pretty much carried it everywhere. And... Uh, VG Mom was just like, oh man, I hate this stupid thing. Okay, what? What? This boss is dumb. When I was one, what did I look like? When you were one, you looked like a baby. Ow, golly. This boss is tough, dude. It's like a dragon bug. It is like a dragon bug. I think maybe it's supposed to be like a centipede or something. Giant centipede. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. He messed me up. But I think we might be in a situation. Yeah, we're in a situation where we can easily get another one up before we have to face that dude. And he kind of caught me off guard. I was not expecting quite a, quite an ordeal of a boss fight. when You got up the tower? Yeah, I did. How did you? Um, with my awesome video game skills. And also because I'm a rocket knight. Yeah, rocket knight. I've got rocket power. Not to be confused with the cartoon show. Rocket power. Oh, good. Bananas. Bananas. Banana, banana, banana. Are you bananas for bananas? Mm-hmm. Like Pete the Cat. Yeah, that's true. I think, Pete, I think that's where I picked that phrase up. I think that is from Pete the Cat. Yeah, get One some. One of my old Pete the Cat books. Yep, it's Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. You remember when we went and met Pete the Cat at the library? Yeah, he had pink shoes. Yep, he sure did. If you don't know Pete the Cat, he's in Pete the Cat books. That's if right. If you do, just, just comment up on this video. Yeah. I think they should leave a comment whether they know about Pete the Cat or not. What do you think people should say in the comments? Yeah. 
You think they should say nothing? There's not some special phrase you want them to say? I know you always like to throw down some. Caddy cat cat. Maybe want... they should say caddy cat cat. Maybe they should say caddy cat cat. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right, sounds good. Well, you heard the lady, everybody. Caddy cat cat. That's <laughs> that's your assignment for today. Ah, spider. S spider balls. <laughs> spider balls. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's what they are. They're spider balls. They are spider balls. I wonder why these pigs are on fire. What do you think? How do you think these pigs got lit on fire? They were sitting in the fire spot. They were sitting in the fire spot? Uh -huh. Wow, it's a guy. I did not expect a guy in a box. Even though this is the third time that thing has happened. All right, well, we're, we're going to give this boss one more good try. And then I think I've had about enough of this game. What about you? No. No? I like watching you. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I definitely, I'm enjoying playing it, but, uh, you know, we got other stuff to do, like go to bed, and uh, we're actually recording this on a Saturday, so as soon as I get her in bed, this is actually my stream day, so uh, it's a bit of a thing. Can I get dinner? Yeah, we're going to have dinner, too. Oh, man, get out of here with we that. We have three things to do. Huh? Yep. Well, we each individually have two things. You're going to go to bed. Well, you're going to have dinner and go to bed, but I'm going to have dinner and do a stream. And that's basically where... And then go where to I, bed. And then go to bed. But in, in the middle of that, VG Mom's going to wake up and she's going to go to work. And that's going to be a thing. Get some. Oh, dang it. I thought I had that guy. You'll do it after you oh, have a job. Well, that boss is tough. But not too tough. I feel like I could beat him one more time, but our timer's already gone off, so we're gonna throw it to the end slate. Okay, so after a little bit of time with Rocket Knight Adventures, what did you think? Good. What did you like about it? I like the possum. Okay, and is there anything that you didn't like? The piggies um, burning on fire. Okay, and so if you could give this game a rating, what would it be? Five possums? Five possums? Alright then. Well, I honestly didn't know what to expect going into Rocket Knight Adventures. Fortunately, this game breaks the platformer mold in a lot of ways. It's no doubt helped by the likes of Konami, who had a number of high-quality games under their belt at this time. It's definitely guilty of early 90s cute animal mascot syndrome, but it has a lot more going for it, most notably the rocket ability. It doesn't try to just be another Mario or Sonic, and this is strongly to its advantage. Not only that, but if I hadn't plugged the game in myself, I could have sworn it was a Super Nintendo game. Though parts of the game can be difficult, with a little perseverance and maybe a bit of dumb luck, I could recommend it for anybody. Well that's all the time that we have for this week guys. As always, if you've got anything positive or negative to say about the episode, go ahead and leave it down below, or hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. And of course... Subscribe? That's right, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. We will see you guys next time, and until then, keep playing. Bye! I mean, bye!